Hello everybody! Start of a weekend. It's been good so far. Let's see what is in store. Alright, so today, Saturday, October 30th. Oops. October's over. It's November coming up. But my birthday's in November. So that's always good. Um, we sold things on three marketplaces. Uh, Facebook, Macari, and eBay. All three did pretty well. Um, so we're happy about that. Starting with Facebook and this. Um, <laughs> a few of you wanted me to throw this down the hallway because we overpaid for it. Um, we got our money back. But that was about it. Uh, this is a blow mold. Vintage blow mold from the 90s. Um, snowman. Waving. Still not happy about this buy. Uh, $24 plus shipping for the blow mold. That's what we paid for it. So, not going to do that again. Um, keeping with Facebook, we sold this. It's a Harley Davidson t shirt right here um, from Erie, Pennsylvania. Um, $15.20 plus shipping. Made money on that one. So, that's good. Still with Facebook, um, we sold this. These are Merry Miniatures. It's a little bear and his wife or girlfriend um, in a boat. Precious. $6.40 plus shipping. It's actually a Christmas ornament, just so you know. <laughs> uh, moving on to Macari, which had a, a record day. Um, so, we sold this Lego set. We got these a while ago and... <laughs> Don't know why they've been sitting. Um, figured they'd probably go in Q4, so not a big deal. Um, this was part of that Toys Amazon return box that we bought. Um, in fact, the reason we bought that Amazon... And you know what? No, these were separated from the box, but they are Amazon returns, and you can tell because the barcode's covered over with Amazon barcode on the bottom. Nine bucks. This is a Mario's Desert Expansion Set. Right here. Nine bucks plus shipping. Sold this... This is uh, Agent Fox Mulder, the X-Files action figure with some white dude in a body bag thing. I have no idea what that is. Anyways, um, $14 for this plus shipping. We're already in the pure profit. We paid $14 for all those figures last time. So good there. Sold the Abacus. Sarah was going to keep this for herself, but she decided to sell it. $12 plus shipping. Still on Macari, by the way. <laughs> um, sold this. Uh, and this is the last thing for Macari right here. This is a satin kind of Asian-inspired purse. Um, eight bucks plus shipping. Moving on to eBay. Sold some postcards. This is about the most boring postcard we've ever sold. And it sold for good money. This is a vintage postcard, an RPPC postcard, which, which is a real picture postcard. Meaning that that was a picture that somebody actually took and then printed it on a postcard. Most of these haven't been posted, um, just like this one. Believe it or not, it is a picture of some beavers. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, that's probably the way it's supposed to be, right, like that. There's some beavers in there, in a lake or a pond or something. I don't know, anyways. <laughs> Beaver postcard sold for $8.50 plus shipping. Those real picture postcards are worth some money. Sold this girl right here. It's a vintage 1980s Cabbage Patch brown eyes, uh, brown hair with a pink bow. Sarah put that in there. Um, with a dimple. Um, she sold for $21.50. Plus shipping. Still hacking through those concert t-shirts we got. This is Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band working on a dream tour from 2009. Um, eight bucks plus shipping, size extra large. Sold this ornament. It's a Smurfs ornament from the 80s. The Smurfs right there. Pompa Smurf. Uh, I can't remember what the girl's name is. But, yeah. Anyway, Smurfs ornament uh, from 1982. $8.88. Plus shipping. Another thing we're doing real well with is these cabinet cards. This ornament's rolling all over the place here. There we go. Um, doing really well with these cabinet cards, especially guys with monocles sell really well um, and that's his doting bride I imagine I'm not sure of that you know he doesn't have a monocle it's just a line on the picture there 
anyways, um, at least they look kind of happy, unlike most of them. No name on this one. Um, from Buffalo, New York, $17 plus shipping. Had a bulk buy on the eBay layaway program. They paid three days and 23 and a half hours before day four. So, um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I can't stand it when people do that, especially with a bulk buy. So they bought all this. They bought this Puma t-shirt. They bought uh, this H&M men's t-shirt. They bought uh, this American Eagle t-shirt. And they bought this green H&M t-shirt. And they bought a Nike dry fit t-shirt. And they bought an Under Armour t-shirt. I'm not going to throw the ones in the bag. <laughs> an Under Armour t-shirt. And they bought this uh, Puma lifestyles polo shirt all together $44 plus shipping after three days of three and a half days of waiting they paid next up now that we're done with that little bit, next up is this this is a vintage morning sun women's size medium winter geese sweatshirt it's a grandma court sweatshirt and this, this is definitely grandma core. You can't really tell, but there's like ducks on the pond type thing. Totally grandma core. Um, we have grandma core and bingo wear as our keywords, which is pretty awesome. Um, $18 plus shipping for that. I sold a mixing bowl for a sunbeam mixer. This came back once already, I believe. Um, unless we had two of them, but I'm pretty sure this came back. Uh, $13 plus shipping for the Sunbeam Mixer Bowl. So the Squishmallow. This is Tristan. Tristan? Tristan. Yeah, Tristan. The green Triceratops. 8-inch plus Squishmallow. $16 for Tristan. Plus shipping. A lot of three hunting t-shirts. These are used camo hunting t-shirts. Nothing too spectacular here. Um, size large and extra large, long and short sleeve. Nine bucks plus shipping for these. Hello everybody. Welcome back. Today's Monday, November 1st. And I know, didn't do Sunday. And that's because we were busy. It was Halloween and we had things going on. So, um, we did change all of our handling times now to two days anyway, so we can do stuff like this. Um, you know, Gotta have a little time to ourselves, right? Um, so yeah, anyways, we uh, today is Monday, November 1st. October's gone, it's history, it's archives. It's completely over. Uh, we're now on to November, and hopefully Q4 starts to ramp up. And it, if this is any indication, we should be pretty good throughout the rest of the, the rest of the quarter. Anyways, we sold things on three marketplaces, Poshmark, Facebook, and of course eBay. Starting with Poshmark, we sold these. Some blue suede shoes. Those of you that are younger, much younger than me, will not know why I'm laughing. Because it's the name of a song. Um, but anyways, uh, they are um, Mercanti? Mercanti shoes. Uh, blue loafer shoes. Women's shoes. Size 8 in women's. Uh, sold them for $32. Free shipping. We do free shipping on everything on Poshmark. Um, and we just kind of add in some shipping costs to the price. So 32 bucks free shipping for those. We got those at a thrift store. Paid a couple bucks for them. So pretty good flip. Uh, moving on to Facebook, which is the, the merriest, uh, second merriest. I'd say Macari. We sell a lot of Christmas stuff on also. So Facebook and Macari are like the Christmas headquarters, as you will. Um, sold some, um, ornaments starting with this one. This is Marilyn Monroe in her director's chair there. Uh, Hollywood, Maryland is what it's called. From, by Carlton card, uh, $9.60 for Maryland, plus shipping. Sold a Hallmark keepsake. This is reaching for Christmas. How precious. Right there. $10.40 plus shipping. And then we got another Hallmark keepsake. Um, this is Thomas the Train engine uh, and friends. I don't know who the green one is. Oh, it says here Percy. That's Percy. Um, anyways, uh, ten dollars for those two, plus shipping, and then uh, wrapping it up for Facebook. This is Bob the Builder, right here, pushing his little wheelbarrow with a gift in it. Uh, ten dollars plus shipping. Those didn't all go to one person. Those are four separate orders on Facebook. So, not bad there. Moving on to eBay and keeping with the trend, uh, the uh, trend 
We got another ornament. We bought a bunch of ornaments, so we need to sell a ton of them. Um, this is trunk full of trouble because there's a dog in a trunk. How oh, precious. Um, $10 plus shipping for the dog in the trunk. So a cabinet card. This is a postal worker mailman from Jamestown, New York. That's uh, just your local mailman. <laughs> Joey Bada Bing should get one of these pictures done. Uh, he's not a mailman anymore. He can't. Uh, anyways, um, this is uh, no name on this. Just a mailman from uh, Jamestown, New York. Ten bucks plus shipping for the mailman. Next up is this. Um, this is a Nike Pro shirt. And uh, this is brand new with the tags, but uh, it has an issue with it. There's a little stain on it at the bottom. Um, so it didn't go for as much money as most of them would. 12 bucks plus shipping for that. We went out to a, uh, an antique store looking for some postcards and came across a couple of good ones. Uh, this was one of them. Uh, this is a uh, postcard Indiana Cotton Mills. So it's just a cotton mill from Indiana right here. <laughs> some of these postcards don't look very exciting. Like I was in Indiana and I stopped by a cotton mill and got you a postcard. Uh, $7.50 plus shipping. I've been waiting for this thing to sell. We got this at the bins. And it is a um, vintage hoodie, split skateboarding hoodie from the from the early 2000s. Size extra large. 30 bucks for this hoodie plus shipping. Can't beat that. I have looked at this postcard several times. And I cannot decide whether it is inappropriate or not. So I will cover the inappropriate area. This is a vintage Niagara Falls postcard. It's a lady like riding a canoe over Niagara Falls I guess and she is not wearing any clothing. So um, anyways Legend of the White Canoe is what it's called and I imagine there's some legend there. Um, yeah apparently some naked lady went over falls in a white canoe. Seven dollars for this. Put that shipping. Another thing I've been waiting to sell. We have this. We had this on Poshmark. We got a bunch of likes and sent some offers on it. Nobody wanted it. Uh, finally sold on eBay. New with tags. J. Crew heavyweight flannel. Um, it is a time of year for stuff like this. So um, trying to find a tag for it. There it is. Right in there. Um, Fourteen dollars for this, plus shipping. Did they steal that. What was it? Sixty nine fifty. Brand new. To do a battery change there. Next up is this another Nike Pro Cool Men's shirt made with the tags. This one is fine. Um, nothing wrong with this one. The tag uh, size medium, eighteen dollars plus shipping. <laughs> this one's brand new. Uh, Twelve inch Squishmallow, Live the Leopard, um, twenty two dollars plus shipping for Live. Also going out of the country, uh, people are paying big money to ship those things out of the country, which is crazy. Um, next up, this little girl. Uh, this is a 1980s Cabbage Patch brown hair, brown eyes with dimples. Do you have dimples? Good. Um, anyways, she sold for $22.50 plus shipping. Sold a Pac Sun Men's Medium um, Desert Camo shirt, new with the tags, ten bucks plus shipping. Sold some uh, handmade Christmas ornaments. These are a lot of eight beaded and lace needlepoint Christmas ornaments, snowflakes and such. In there, they look almost like cookies, but they're not. They're ornaments. Um, Sixteen dollars, free shipping on those. Sold another ornament. This is Carlton Carr's Little um, Heirloom Treasures. The Jump for Joy mouse, right there. Uh, $8.88 plus shipping. Sold some jeans. These are uh, new jeans. They are relaxed fit new jeans. Size 33, 34. Um, they, uh, yeah, they're brand new. We don't really buy Lee jeans unless they're brand new. Um, but these don't. They still have the tags all over them. Um, I think we got them for like four or five bucks at uh, thrift store. 20 bucks plus shipping. More Hallmark ornaments. We sold Pepperoni Mouse. Six dollars plus shipping for Pepperoni Mouse. That's. I wish I would have seen this one. I might have kept it because that's pretty awesome. Uh, and then we sold a Hot Wheels uh, Hallmark Christmas ornament. These are all from that sale Monday's video. 
Um, this is a Hot Wheels Christmas ornament, $6 plus shipping there. We sold a lot. Um, I'm not going to take them all out. I'm just going to show you a couple of them. A lot of 20 Hardy Boys books. So there's, they're the UVs, and there's 20 of them. Um, all different. I, I don't think we have... Um, starting at one, I think we start like around like ten or eleven. Um, anyways, twenty four dollars for Hardy Books, Hardy Boys books. Um, these, especially the really old ones, these aren't super old. I think these are um, reprints of the old ones. One hundred percent on that, though. Um, yeah, they are. Um, I'm trying to see 1998 printing. So they aren't super old, but the real old ones, the yellow ones are worth some money, especially if they're in good shape. Um, so always keep an eye out for them. And they ship quick, cheaply because they're medium mail. So 24 bucks plus shipping for those. <clears throat> you guys remember these? We found one hiding in a, in a drawer and uh, never listed it. And then we listed it again and it sold. These are those uh, brawl holsters. Like if you look way back on my channel, we put a whole box of these and they're holsters that hang on women's bra and you put your firearm in there and conceal carry it as long as it's legal in your state. $15 plus shipping for this. Next up, it's Fifi. It's Fifi, the red fox. Didn't know there was a red fox, but it doesn't matter because it's a squishmallow. It can be whatever color it wants. Right? Um, Fifi here, um, $18 for Fifi, plus ship. Wish we had a good source for him. Levi's 569, I tell you guys this all the time, 569 sell really well, um, and they do. Size 38, 34, uh, light wash, blue jeans, $16 plus shipping. <clears throat> Sold some pillow shams. These look like something my grandmother would have. Uh, pillow shams, they are floral wedding ring quilt pillow shams. Um, my understanding is pillow shams are not the same as pillow cases. They're more of a decorative thing. Uh, $12 for two pillow shams. Plus ship. And last for today, some scary dragons. These are eight inch ceramic painted two headed dragons. So scary. Um, fantasy red dragon statue, jeweled rock base. There's some jewels down here. Uh, $12 plus shipping for the dragons. And that We'll wrap up our long weekend of sales. Um, coming up on the channel Thursday, birthday show. So if you want to be, if you're a reseller and, or, and you want to be and you have a decent webcam, give, give me a shout out. Come on in. Say hi. Say happy birthday. You don't have to stay for long if you don't want to. But um, just throwing that out there. And then uh, this coming Sunday, Pittsburgh Picker Live and a What Sold video on Friday. So if you guys want to know when all that stuff comes out, subscribe to the channel, like it says on the pillow behind me. Um, and if you could, hit that like button on your way out. I'd appreciate that, too. Thanks so much. Bye. Good day, sir!